Elon Musk is well known for his innovative use of technology since he was young. He's had an insatiable need to push the boundaries of what's considered impossible. His most crazy desire is to colonize Mars, so in 2002, he started SpaceX. Musk's team has been working feverishly on his Starship rocket, a large next-generation rocket that he hopes would one day transport humans from Earth to the Moon and ultimately to Mars. But now he has finally revealed its jaw-dropping successor Starship, a much larger and better rocket, the 150-meter Starship. What are the new and improved features of this new version and how would it help with Mars colonization? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. When November has come, the whole world is turning eyes to SpaceX, to Starship, and counting down to the day of this vehicle's second orbital test flight this month. The excitement surrounding this event is entirely justified. It invokes memories of SpaceX's iconic first Falcon Heavy launch, which not only propelled Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster and Starman into orbit, but also stood as one of the most remarkable moments in SpaceX's history. Expectations for Starship may even surpass those of the Falcon Heavy's debut. The initial orbital test flight on April 20 didn't quite capture the same magic, which has only intensified the anticipation for the upcoming mission. As the pieces fall into place for Starship's second orbital test flight, it's apparent that if successful, SpaceX is poised to shatter numerous records, including the distinction of launching the world's largest vehicle. Indeed, when it comes to size, there's little room for debate. A fully assembled prototype comprising the latest Starship and Super Heavy components boasts staggering dimensions with a towering height of 122 meters and a 9-meter diameter. This colossal scale surpasses the iconic Saturn V, which held the title of the world's largest rocket for an extended period. Furthermore, Starship's total mass reaches an astounding 5,000 tons, enabling it to ferry up to 150 tons of cargo and accommodate 100 passengers on journeys into orbit. But even with the most potent rocket on the planet in their arsenal, Elon Musk's aspirations continue to soar to even greater heights. Musk just declared that the Starship is likely to undergo significant changes in its upcoming versions, potentially becoming 10% to 20% longer. To consider, if the 20% longer development happens, then the stacked rocket will be 144 meters long. Adding 24 meters would be over 60% of the length of the Space Shuttle Orbiter, which was 37 meters long. The SpaceX Starship upper stage is 50 meters long. If this is made 20% longer, then it would be 60 meters long. The Space Shuttle on the launch pad with its external fuel tank and side boosters was 56 meters tall. Actually, it's also a notable jump in size from previous versions of the rocket. When Musk initially outlined what was then known as the BFR in September 2017, the ship itself measured 46 meters and the whole vehicle measured 106 meters. When Musk unveiled the Starship MK-1 prototype at the Boca Shuka facility in Texas in September 2019, Complete with its new stainless steel approach, the ship measured its current 50 meters and the full design measured 118 meters. That's not the only place where the Starship is changing. At the September 2017 event, the vehicle had a total liftoff mass of 4,400 metric tons. In September 2019, Musk revealed that the Starship MK-1 weighs 200 tons without fuel. 1,400 tons with fuel, and stacked on top of the super heavy weighs around 5,000 tons. Musk then revealed despite the larger ship, this last figure will remain around the same. And eventually, we will probably see a 236 meters tall Starship. In 2019, he tweeted that the Starship's diameter could be increased, reaching 18 meters, surpassing the diameter of the Soviet N-1 rocket. If increased by fineness ratio, Starship 2.0 will have a height of nearly 240 meters, double the version they are currently producing. According to estimates, in Starship version 2.0, the surface area, propellant tank volume, thrust requirements, and mass will increase eight times. The total weight will be up to 40,000 tons, 
SpaceX will need at least 100 Raptor engines to help lift this monster. It would be interesting if this version appeared in reality, then it would be nearly three quarters the height of the Eiffel Tower, and the current Starship version would just be like a tiny guy standing next to a giant. Back with the latest change, Starship will be able to increase its payload. If the Starship payload area could be stretched by 10 meters, then the payload volume would increase from 1,000 cubic meters to 1,800 cubic meter. If fuel in Starship increased, then the stretched payload volume might only increase to 1,400 cubic meter. I wouldn't be surprised if Starship four, six years from now would be able to do 500 tons to low Earth orbit in expandable mode. The payload will include cargo, people, and fuel. The increase in payload is a potential cost-saving solution for SpaceX as it could help optimize the number of flights. It will also help save time, making transportation to Mars faster and reducing waiting time. Most importantly, the increase in the payload of cargo and fuel will bring great benefits to interplanetary missions because each additional kilogram of cargo or fuel will be extremely valuable in space exploration. But before achieving those benefits, SpaceX will have to solve many problems. The first problem is the design. It will need to have many changes such as redesigning the interior for passengers, expanding the cargo compartment, or expanding the fuel tanks. This is difficult because changes are not only increasing size, but also ensuring balance between parts. Next are the engine changes. A larger vehicle with more payload will make it heavier. That means the engines need to be larger and more powerful to lift the vehicle. It can be said that engine research and development is the most difficult task in the aerospace field. Engineers need to ensure the engines are not only powerful but also stable. The problem of engine stability was evident during the first orbital test flight. In addition, related facilities also need to be changed and upgraded such as the Mechazilla launch tower system. It will need to be taller. The Mechazilla arms or QD arms will also need modifications to be able to lift and catch a larger starship. That will be a challenge for SpaceX engineers. So many challenges. But why is Musk still so confident? He certainly had reasons for any declaration. Firstly, with the thrust issue, we have all witnessed the power of the Raptor engine. It's no surprise that it is considered one of the most powerful engines. The deep hole under the OLM after the April 20 launch revealed its power. But it could be even more powerful if the next version of the Raptor engine Raptor 3 is released. In May, this version was tested and its result after the test surprised many people. With thrust increased to 2.69 mn, it will make Starship 18% more powerful than the current version. Moreover, production of the Raptor engine has been extremely fast Factories can produce one engine per day like the current Raptor 2 version. The biggest problem is increasing stability. And SpaceX has talented engineers who can solve those challenges. The capabilities of SpaceX's engineers have been proven throughout the company's development process. They have helped the Falcon 9 become the world's most stable and reliable orbital launch vehicle. They have also helped SpaceX become the company that owns the most satellites in orbit. For the Starship project, after the first orbital test flight, their capabilities were shown more clearly. In just a few months, the changes and upgrades in Starship and related infrastructure were almost complete, ready for the second orbital test flight. At other companies, that can take up to a year or more. So, let's wait and see. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time. See you next